The outreach service in Scottish War Blinded grew out of our old aftercare service um, which was looking after our members in the community. We currently now have nine outreach workers throughout Scotland who support our members in their own communities. Our outreach service is pretty much developed on uh, for the initial care that was sort of set up when the charity was founded. Outreach service uh, is getting out into the communities, promoting sort of social inclusion. We provide a lot of equipment, we're a one-stop signposting sort of service for people who are looking for maybe other information on benefits or anything like this we can assist. Outreach workers have been very, very useful to me because they know what's happening and they've introduced me to various activities. We've been out on trips, I've been into gliding, canoeing, yachting and all that sort of thing. And I wouldn't have gone into many of those activities if it hadn't been for the opportunity through Scottish War Blinded. I started artwork uh, after my vision had more or less disappeared and uh, there's a chap called David up at uh, Scottish Warblind who's helped me over the last couple of years and using a magnifier and very good lighting which was supplied to me I'm able to get everything in exactly the right place. When someone becomes a member they have a, an assessment carried out by their outreach worker and what we do there is look at, carry out a holistic assessment and look at all the person's needs and make sure that they're getting all the statutory services they should be getting. But then we'll be seeing things, focusing in on their visual impairment and seeing is there any specialist equipment that we can provide that will help them. Some of that's very basic, like the liquid level indicator that tells you, allows you to pour hot liquid safely into cups. And some of it's more complex, um, covering um, electronic magnifiers. But we'll provide this equipment free of charge after they're assessed as needing them by our outreach workers. They've helped us in that our kitchen was rather dark, we had um, black worktops, but once Robert lost his sight they were totally useless in that the kitchen was too dark. So through the outreach service we actually got some nice white sparkly worktops and everything shows up beautifully on them and that was done through, particularly through the Limburn and the outreach service. Um, they gave us a bit of a grant towards the cost of that. When my vision first disappeared, or virtually disappeared, um, I was a bit lost for a while. My wife helped tremendously, of course, but then I was taught how to do different things and a whole range of activities which I can do in the house and even around the garden here now, which I might not have been able to do before. It's that safety net, really. It's the security and also feeling part of um, a larger body that you know will give you help, support, information, friendship, whatever. I regard it as a sort of life raft really to us because when somebody first loses the sight uh, you feel slightly adrift, cast off really and Lynburn and the outreach service is a life, yeah, it's a life raft for us. I'm not quite sure how I can ex express this to you but I still have many friends that I might never have had without Scottish War Blinded. Scottish War Blinded provides free support to veterans of the armed forces who have a visual impairment sustained either in conflict or subsequent to their service. We support ex-service men and women who have served in the armed forces, reserves, Queen Alexandra Nursing Corps and National Service. If you or someone you know could benefit from Scottish War Blinded, Call us free today on 0800 035 6409 or visit www.scottishwarblinded.org.